One of Mexico's top drug lords, Arturo Beltran Leva, was killed along with five of his bodyguards this week amid a two-hour gun battle with authorities. His death marks one of the most significant successes in President Felipe Calderon's war against narcotics traffickers. But it's expected to set off another wave of violence and reprisal strikes targeting top government officials. Retaliation could come anywhere, and the Beltran Label Organization has shown the ability to strike in Mexico City, which has traditionally been off limits uh, uh, for this kind of violence uh, in the past. This is Dispatch. I'm Marla Dial. The death of cartel kingpin Arturo Beltran Leva brings an immediate risk of reprisal attacks in the capital, possibly targeting officials like President Felipe Calderon and Attorney General Arturo Chavez. And in the past, they have eliminated uh, very senior police officials. They have uh, been the only organization uh, that have actually used an improvised explosive device, uh, which was one of our longstanding tripwires here at Stratford to be on the lookout for. So uh, they have that capability. And uh, like all of these cartels, uh, Marla, they have the ability to strike uh, throughout the country. But I would look for uh, some sort of immediate reprisal attack uh, inside of Mexico City. But the bloodshed likely won't be contained to southern Mexico. Instability involving one cartel routinely leads to violence by others seeking to expand their territory. Inevitably what we're going to see is a rapid uptick in violence uh, throughout uh, the country uh, as uh, folks start to shuffle and reposition themselves uh, to take over uh, Beltran Leyva's uh, lucrative drug uh, supply network. And uh, in all probability, uh, the winner here will be uh, El Chapo Guzman uh, of the Sinaloa cartel. The Beltran Labor Organization, uh, like all the drug smugglers, the, the mission is to get these drugs into the North American market. So it would not be surprising in the least to see uh, some flare up along the border related to this, even though the uh, counter-narcotics action took place in the southern part of the country.